Hey guys, it's J Dog John Carson. Hey, we had a customer in a couple of days ago asking for a spray for spiders. And so she brought in a, a leaf sample, right? And then she showed a bunch of webbing on there. And I want to talk uh, just a moment uh, the difference between spiders, right? Our eight legged creatures and spider mites which are the things that we worry about for our plants that we love right so difference between spiders let me take a look let me show you some samples shall we and go over what the difference between spiders and spider mites now I don't know if you can see this this is a spider right right there jiggling in the wind against my dirty hand spider right can you even see that? I, I got it. Okay, so he's jiggling in the wind. Spider creates spider webs. Now, um, strangely enough, spider mites and spiders like arbovitas. Take a look at this webbing in here, right? You see how a little more dense it is? That still is made by the friendly spider. Now, if I were to cut a branch, let me give me a second here. Let me cut a branch here. Let's go back here, T-Bone, and I'll show you the, on a spider mite. So you saw the, uh, sp the spider webbing. That's something we can really see very, very well. But a spider mite, to tell the difference, now I don't have any spider mites on any plants. As a matter of fact, I look through the plants here in the nursery and, well, hey, we don't have spider mites. Um, but I want to show you the, how small it would be. So if you, this is an arbovita, right, a thuya, and the webbing would be very intricate. It would be between, let's say, let's between uh, the tightest of the needles there. So just right at the tip of my, um, of my um, pruners. So that's where the webbing will be. It's very, very small. Spider mites, now what happened is you'll get millions of spider mites and so things like the colocasia and the alocasia, the big elephant ears, usually you'll get the spider mites right down the center here along that veining. They suck the juices. Also you'll find them in the back side of your leaves and usually that webbing is really close to that veining. Isn't that a cool plant? So keep an eye out for your, for your elephant ears, your alocasias, your colocasias. Also, your angel's trumpet too, the brumancias and the daturas, those large, bold leaves. Um, uh, usually, you'll see it on the back side. Like I, say, I said, the, uh, I wish I could show it to you, but the uh, webbing will be very intricate, very tight to the veins of the plant, usually on the back side, but oftentimes you'll see it on the front side. And it just causes kind of a blanching of the leaf. And so, and, uh, and the way to get rid of them, by the way, is yes, you can spray, but you have to get the top side and the bottom side, and usually it's a contact spray. So I usually don't mess with that. I go straight for a systemic. The Bonnet Garden Grow is a systemic. You put some granules in, half a cup to a cup full. This, is, this includes your thuyas too, and uh, generally that'll, uh, you water it in, that takes it up by the, by the root system throughout the plant, and then it's protected. And you don't have any spider mites, and yet the beautiful spiders still can live free and happily. Anyway, guys, I hope that helps. That's the show for the day. Always live your passion. See me right out.